Welcome sa ating channel. We are here for the budget recommendations. Now, we have in here the ID cooling SE224 XT. Compared sa other budget coolers, parang hindi ganun ka taas yung kanyang demand. Dahil dito, na-curious ako na i-add siya or idagdag sa ating mga CPU coolers test bench to check if it's really inferior pagdating sa testing, why it's not that most in-demand CPU cooler. Now, with that being said, let's check the results if this is now the next cooler that you may consider. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so I have in here the ID Cooling SE224 XT. And dinagdag po po siya sa ating test bench. And uh, ayun nga po, dahil uh, matagal na po ang ID Cooling dito sa Pilipinas. Pero I'm wondering bakit uh, parang sakto lang yung kanyang demand sa ating market. Besides, isa ito sa mga pinaka-reliable dati. Pero siguro dahil kulang yung mga exposure, talking about the SE224 capability, kaya naman dinagdag na natin siya sa ating CPU cooler comparison. And ang kagandahan nito, meron pa siyang kasamang free na thermal paste. And lang mo kayatang magagamit mo to up to 4 times. If I'm not mistaken, this is around 2 grams. Thermal paste, dun palang panalo ka na. So this is at a price tag of 1,500 more or less. If you will less this, maybe around 1,200. And it comes also with this uh, fan na free. Pero pag white yung binili mo, automatically white lang din yung kanyang ilaw. And there we have the CPU cooler. So if you look at the cooler, it just comes with uh, 4 heat pipes. Pero itong kanyang heat pipes is uh, having a direct contact to sa mismong CPU. So, if uh, the heat generated ng CPU will be transmitted dito sa mismong cooler, may transfer siya sa ating heat pipes going to the heat sink. So, ito yung maganda dito along with the CPU block. So, itong mismong uh, heat sink dito para sa CPU is uh, naka-expose yung kanyang heat pipes. Ayan, yun ang kagandahan nito. Direct contact. So, it is believed pero I think it's already proven also na if this is the setup, mas effective yung mismong CPU air cooler especially if you are talking about the budget ones. And uh, at the Shopee marketplace, makikita natin that there are several coolers na hindi ganun ka-familiar sa mga into IT for a very very long time. Na parang, uy, biglang sumulpot tong cooler na to, pero ito yung pinakamabenta. Maybe because of the price, it's just around 1,000 more or less or even cheaper, kaya siguro in demand yung mga yun. And uh, maybe it works naman. As long as it works, it's good. Pero what if you are looking for a cooler that is really effective? Let's check now the graphs. But before that, if you want to check how is the testing methodology ng ating mga graph na to, as I have said sa mga previous videos, check yung ating link below. Nandyan po yung dedicated video natin talking about the testing methodology for the transparency kung gusto niyo pong alamin kung paano natin nag-gather yung mga data. Now, with that being said, let's check the four sets of graph for different way of comparison para sa fear presentation. If in case lang na you think it's not good if this is the setup. Now, the first graph, ipapakita natin dito yung kanyang potential kung lahat ng fans or yung fan niya is naka-maximum RPM. Like, full blast. Wala tayong pakialam kung maingay siya or what. Basta yung pinaka-full potential. And this SE224, among all budget coolers, makikita nyo that this is the clear winner. Nandyan po yung T-Gears, nandyan yung Jonesbo, Snowman, pero eto pa rin ang winner compared to all of those coolers. It might be quite unfair for SE224, pero ito kasi yung pinaka-budget or bang for the buck coolers that was offered before dumating itong mga ganitong klase ng cooler. Yet, pagdating sa benchmark, still, this is the best among them pagdating sa ating comparison. Now, if we will try to increase yung uh, wattage load, and that will be the same also if we will go with a higher CPU that consumes more uh, power, makikita na natin dito na 100 watts 
this is still handling that CPU very well. And makikita na rin natin yung ibang budget CPU coolers na beyond na po sa temperature na acceptable para sa atin. Pero how about if we'll also reconsider yung kanyang fan performance na noise normalized na yung ating setup. So as I've said before, you may just take this with a grain of salt dahil nga po sa ating testing methodology that you may check with the link below. Pero if there is something that you will question about that kind of testing or this kind of testing, it is the same way naman ng method among all coolers. So it's still fair just for the sake of comparison or ranking. And dito makikita natin that SE224 is still the winner. And even at a 100 watts, SE224 is still the go-to coolers. If you are more concerned about the temperature and if you can shell out a fan na 1,500 more or less. Pero sabi nga nila, kung gagastos ka na lang din naman ng para sa CPU mo or for the safety of your hardware and hundreds of pesos na lang naman yung difference, bakit ka pa magtitipid ng hundreds kung kaya mo naman palang bumili ng ganyang kata sa CPU? Considering the CPU will be Ryzen or i-series, then konting dagdag na lang. Kesa mag-settle down ka sa 1,000 pesos na CPU cooler na hindi mo alam if it will uh, handle your uh, CPU with different ambient temperature or different situations, just settle down with a cooler na sigurado ka kahit mainit siguro yung surroundings mo or yung environment mo or mag-spike yung temperature. Kahit paano, there's still big allowance na hindi hindi mo pa rin maiisip na nag-overheat na yung CPU mo dahil nga you are using an SE224 with a very comfortable temperature. So ayun lang po, I'm just giving you tips that we have an SE224 in the market, a very good cooler that we may consider. Now with that being said, and for more tips or recommendations about the budget products, feel free to subscribe.